I got myself a little hurt. I'm limping a bit, but fuck it. Steam is fine. I can handle myself. Oh. Automatic light. What is going on here? Oh, you got another robot dude. I'll talk to him in a little bit. Alright, Amy's sketchbook. They've got all these weird ass fucking doodles. Man, it would be interesting to be a scientist who knows how to draw. So many weird things to put out there. Alright. Uh, is there a you are here thing? Yeah, here you go. Control Station B. We're trying to get to the communication room, but they've scratched off off administration. So if I'm here, all I have to do is go up that staircase. Hey, okay, it even has a sign for it. Communications. Awesome. All right. <laughs> Guess we gotta explore a little bit. Whoops. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> kind of drained power. Something in there. A note to read, maybe? Uh. Lockdown process initiated. Look. Or check terminal for details. Well, I can't read the terminal because I don't have a login ID. Or password. Maybe the robot guy has it. What did happen to the pilot seat? Alright. Hi! My cup's freaking the fuck out. I don't know if anyone can see this. Oh, he's talking to me. I guess I don't look very well. <laughs> what are you? Are you blind? It's me. Semkin. Wrangler? Any of this sound familiar to you? I... no, actually. Well, thanks for being so helpful. It's not like I'm knocked out on the floor or anything. Aw, uh, man, look. I just woke up here. I don't know who the hell Carl is. Have your cup, Joe, buddy. Are you human? Shit. Did, did my body give it away? I try hard to save mystery. Yeah, I'm human. Are you? Uh, my name is Simon. Do you know anything about this place? Oh. You're new. That makes us slightly less weird. Look, I'm obviously hurt. If you see anyone else around, just tell them where I am. Okay, Carl. Uh, do you know what this Hello? place is? Hello? Can you hear me? It's me, Carl, calling from the floor. Like, right next to you? Carl, don't backtalk me. So, where are you, exactly? Are you for real? I'm right here. See me waiting? Look at my hands. Hey, buddy. Okay, okay. I, I'm just, I'm just gonna be. I, I'm not seeing it. I, I see a machine, a robot talking. What the hell are you looking at? I'm here. See? Okay. I, I just didn't expect you to look like that. You're really hung up on appearances, you know that? <laughs> I'm sorry, Carl. You're just a big clunky robot. How did you hurt yourself? Not sure. Blacked out pretty bad. I can't remember how I got here. What do you remember then? I was in the pilot seat, promoting a UH. UH? A universal helper. You know, a robot like these things, but livelier. Anyway, I was just dealing with some heat shields and... That's my last clear memory. He said these things. Is he talking about... What is he talking about? Does he know that he's in a robot suit right now? Or is he talking about me? Because I know I'm in a helper pilot thingy. You were remote controlling a robot. We do it all the time. Robots are too on a way to deal with some stuff. Intuition doesn't grow on motherboards, you know. Did you maybe get trapped in the robot somehow? Your mind is pretty tightly wired to the helper, but nah, pretty far-fetched. Aha! <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. Right. Listen, I don't want to alarm you, 
but I think you might be trapped in a robot. I'm telling you, get your eyes checked. I'm right here. I see both my hands, both my feet. When you remote, all you see is like a video feed from the helper unit. Your own body is entirely out of the picture. Oh my god, I saw my own hands and feet! Dude, we're getting mind fucked together! Find someone who can help. I'm really hurting here. Go get some help. Dude, our minds are getting screwed right now! I don't know what's going on! You're a robot, I'm a robot! Fuck! There's no way you just wake up inside of an underwater facility full body intact when you were just literally inside of a doctor's office. Good! You have ears. What does this do? Uh-oh. Okay! That's a bad thing to do. Do you want one of those, like, weird gel thingies <laughs> that you put your finger in? I'm sorry, I, I think I pulled the wrong lever. Oh, don't sweat it. Just get me a doctor. Won't a mechanic make more sense? You're trying to be fucking funny? Give me a medic! <laughs> but you're a robot! Really? Do robots have legs, hands, a face? You're delusional! Okay, calm down. I, I won't- Get some fucking help! Hey, don't talk to me like that. I can throw the lever. Don't tell the others. Uh, I'm gonna go examine the environment real quick. I don't know where I'm going. I have to go upstairs. How do I get to there? Maybe I can control it? Did someone leave a note around the place? There's another door over there that I haven't checked out. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right. Five, two, zero, one. Fine, I'll go find an actual code. It's probably over here. Dead guy, nope. Ooh, a third room. And a robot. All right, I, I'll take my chances with the dead guy. All right. Oh god, he's dead. He's dead. Yeah, he is. What is your name, buddy? Oh, shit, he's Carl. Oh, dude. Fuck! I don't- Oh, dude, you got messed up! Alright, let me just... Remember this code. 0722. Fucking... <laughs> I would love to use a pen or something. Hello, what is this? Flow control! Read this! I can't! The door is closed. Theta turned around? What? Theta, turn around! We sealed Upsilon to keep it working. Don't fuck it up. A Azaro. Carl was not my fault. Well, at least she knows about Carl. And then what about this? Amy Azaro. Zero. Three, five. Zero, seven, three, five. <clears throat> Give me one second. Okay. Got a piece of paper. Right here, I'm gonna write down their IDs completely, because maybe I can remember them. Oh boy! Pen, 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 pen. Information. How about over here? This is probably completely unnecessary, but I have a bad memory when it comes to, like, numbers and shit. Ugh. And while the chat is telling me the numbers over and over and over again, that's kind of unnecessary when I'm staring at a wall. Okay. So, for later on, here we go. I... something fell off my desk, doesn't matter. Amy... Azaro... 
equals zero seven three five. I'm gonna put ID there in case I learn anything else about them. Uh, and then Carl's like zero seven two two or some shit. Welcome to Upsilon. <laughs> I just float up to it. Welcome to Station Upsilon, powering all of Pathos 2, world's largest geothermal plant, natural gas refinery, construct factory. Enjoy your stay. Okay. Did you get the final backup turbos going? Everything is wired evenly. We've hedged our bets as much as we possibly can. So that's it. Enough power to run Pathos 2 until the next apocalypse. We're ready to go. I really hope we didn't mess anything up. I don't want to have to come back here again. Relax, it's over. We're going to Theta. Maybe we should seal more blocks. I don't trust the helpers to let this place run in peace. We've sealed everything. Everything from the barracks to the comm center. If anyone ever sets their foot here again, they're going to have a hell of a time getting a rock off. That sound good. Okay. Well, I got Carl's ID written down. I'm gonna go tell Carl Robot that he's dead over here. But at least he's got a robot version of himself. Maybe I shouldn't tell the big robot on the ground that he's dead. Huh. Is that the robot that attacked him? It looks pretty damaged. I'm gonna talk to Carl first. Hey! Carl! Alright. <laughs> he doesn't want to talk to me anymore. I pulled the lever and that zapped his ass. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna buff its face off, I guess. I'm ready. You ready? So, either she zapped it, and that killed it? Or she injured it, and it waddled over here, which I think it waddling over here is a little bit more likely, considering all that, and where Carl is dead. Interesting. Well, at least we know they can be killed. I mean, they are just robots. Is there anything in this room for me to use? I guess it's just a room with a dead robot in it. Well, I have IDs. I might as well use them. All right. ID 0722. Logged in as Carl Semkin. All right. Uh, Upsilon auto process. Power production has been secured. We've sealed off the factories to keep the plant running. All superfluous or superfluous or superfluous? Wow, I do not know how to pronounce that. The superfluous systems have been turned off. If anyone ever has to return, know that the power flow regulator is hanging on by a thread. If you flip the switch, it's probably no turning a uh, no turning back situation. We're now out of here. Ah. Oh. So if I fuck with the power here, bad things are gonna get out. Okay, all right. Power manager. No power. Solution found. Shut down one of the highlighted sections to divert power to the communication center. Ooh. Okay, so I have to turn off the power... ...next to Carl and the other room. Oh, poor Carl. That's gonna zap his ass. Maybe if I turn off this one first? Oh! Hey! We opened up storage! What do we got here? The CCRV7 black box implant. 
This black blocks uh, black blo <laughs> words. This black box is a precision instrument designed to observe your overall condition. It measures a wide range of data from body temperature to brainwave activity. This information is constant, constantly relayed to Pathos 2's Warden Unit. Wow. So the station can provide you the appropriate climate for every situation. For optimum performance, please follow the auto-injector instructions carefully to make sure the implant is properly applied. Do I have that in me, or is it just them? I mean, I'm just a robot, so maybe. Hello. I'll take it. Put it in me, Doc. All right, it's not gonna work that way. Ooh, I got a helmet. Not necessary. I'm a robot. I'm gonna keep saying it until like a plot twist happens and it turns out I'm actually a human. <laughs> and I was a robot the entire time. Does that make any sense? I meant to say I'm a robot put into a human body that's gone conscious. It just doesn't make any sense anyways. Okay, well, we got flow control on. So that means I can go and fuck with it. But first, we're gonna try this out. Zero... Seven... Two, three. Damn. I mean, I figured that'd be, a, like, a logical step. <laughs> Zero, seven, three, five. All right. Event log. Heat shield burnout. Quake disrupts plateau channel. Lambda blackout. Omicron blackout. Delta severe blackout. Oh boy. Rokes. Well, <laughs> let's go fuck with the power. That'll be fun. Maybe I'll tell Carl what's going on real quick. Right. Well, I'll see you later, buddy. And by later, I mean in like 10 seconds. Or maybe more. I don't know what the flow control room is going to be like. Alright. Read this. We strained the system. If you pull the lever, there's no turning back. Make sure you want it bad enough. I do. <laughs> I definitely want to be able to communicate and get fucking help. Oh boy. Oh shit. Oh, it's coming over here, too. Oh, I'm a robot. Uh, I'm big and I stomp around with lights and stuff. Robot, you're supposed to walk over here, down that hallway, so I can leave. He doesn't give a shit. Fuck you too, robot. I'm gonna name him. I'm gonna name him. Nope, I can't say that name. I've already done that multiple times. All right, fuck it. I'm gonna name him Roger. Roger the robot. Fuck you, Roger the robot. I gotta go check on Carl. Are you dead yet? Completely. Yeah, you're dead. Sorry, buddy. I'm assuming I have to pull this second switch. Or maybe it doesn't mean anything, actually. <laughs> I just figured it showed two zones where I could turn off the power, and I was like, alright. Good, 
Okay. Fuck. Oh boy. I gotta turn on the power to the calm area from here. Power manager. Calm center. All right. Hi, buddy. Nope. Go fuck yourself, giant robot. <sighs> I did what I had to. All right. Corrupted data files. Yeah, go ahead. Restore them. Okay. Well, obviously someone got trapped behind here or something. Hey. Hello? Beta? Absalon. What's up? We could really use direct contact with Heather. Uh, I mean, uh, Site Service Engineer Wolchek. Direct links are almost impossible to establish. The Luar relays are basically junk at this point. You can send messages via the comm center, and if you want, I'm pretty much always here. Ready to relay anything by hand. I, I know it's a shitty system, but it's all that works right now. Yeah, but then they got ambushed, so the only one leaving would be Amy now, so shoot. I hope she got out. What do we got going on here? New York, status offline, last contact. 2,103? Uh, yeah, no, Simon Jarrett is fucking dead. <laughs> oh my god. If that's an actual year, or not just some kind of weird- Dude, you're fucked. Okay, alright, which one's the earliest? Uh... This one here, actually. Alright. Uh, last contact, 2103, January 10th. Jonesy, the office is closing down and everyone is being evacuated. From everyone here, I want to say it's been an honor working with you in Upsilon. Godspeed, and good luck with the apocalypse. London. Dear Miss Vigdis John's daughter, it's with great sadness I have to inform you that the office will close and can no longer support Opsilon and Pathos 2. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you, your super advisor Jane Adams, and the rest of the staff. You are a terrific group, and it's with great confidence I say where we fall, you will surely carry on with bravery. Okay. And then... The next com was this one? Update on the defense measurements. Final efforts by the global community to prevent collision has failed. Pathos 2 should make any final efforts to deal with the inevitable quake following impact. Estimated time for impact, 5.13. So, wow. 20 minutes from this, the world got smacked. Jonesy, I know you have a much better chance for survival, but we have the better of you. Salute. Dude, fuck that. I wouldn't be sending an email sending off a cocky farewell a minute before I die. Are you kidding? I mean, I guess maybe friendship, but damn. Alright! The world got fucked up! And it's been a hundred years, pretty much, since Simon Jarrett since sat down on a thing. Alright. So... 
We gotta talk to Lambda. Let's try Theta real quick. Is obviously not having a great time. We're gonna try other things. What about Upsilon? That's where we currently are. Is there someone in the comm room? It's me. Unable to call Site Upsilon from Site Upsilon. Yeah. Okay. I want to try everything else but Lambda. Fine, we'll do Lambda. Two, two, zero, three. Hey, are you there? I found the dome ceiling. Oh, that's better. Simon, was it? Uh, Jared, Simon Jared. Hi, Simon. I'm Catherine. Have you figured out what's going on yet? Me? I was hoping you'd have some answers. I probably have some. What do you want to know? Where do you even begin? I mean, what is this place? How did I get here? And, and why do the robots talk like they're people? Well, you're at Upsilon, clearly. Have you never been there before? Where did you work? The Grimoire in Toronto. Is that really important? No, I mean, where did you work at Pezos 2? I don't know what that is. That's unexpected. Did you come directly from Toronto? Yeah, I did. And it was very unexpected. Have you seen any people? Like, staff or field technicians? Only robots. Crazy ones. Except for one. I think he said his name was Carl. He was okay, but... I'm... I'm pretty sure I accidentally killed him by turning off the power. Oh. Well... You know, robots don't feel anything, so... Yeah. What was that? No! What's going on? I think this place is about to collapse. What do I do? Simon, come to Lambda. Uh, how do I get there? There are shuttle trains connecting all the sites. Find one and come here. I'll wait for you. Great, but where is it? Oh, shit. Oh, I can't get to a shuttle in time. Oh, gosh. Shit, shit, shit. Where do I... Where should I... Oh, fuck. Okay. All right. At least because I'm a robot, I'm fine. What the hell? How is this possible? This isn't. This is insane. Glad we got that out of the way pretty quickly. Okay. Can I go up? Oh, we lost the controls there, so yeah, I guess we're just gonna climb out. I'll walk my way to Lambda. That'll be good. So Catherine sounded like she didn't really have, like, a big clue <laughs> of the shit that's going on. You'd figure someone going, Whoa, someone's still alive at Upsilon! would be the response that's of someone who's like, Oh shit, robots are invading everywhere. This is fun. I have no idea where the hell I am or where Lambda's gonna be. But I guess we'll figure it out. What in the Lambda, hell is Pat find shuttle to Lambda? Obviously it's an underwater research facility, but for what? Why did we need to research shit underwater? Right, that's not working. Okay. What do we got here? Zeppelin transport. Ah! But the shuttle's not here because they took it to Theta. God damn it. Well, maybe there's a second one. There's got to be more than one shuttle. It'd be stupid to only have one shuttle. 
Granted, I mean, I guess you wouldn't be transferring between places that often. Seems like a waste of resources, but still. There's stuff going on here. Hey, look! Look at these fishies! They've got... glowing thingies on them. Either because they're deep water fish, or because they're getting affected by this gel shit that's all over the place. 